Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we we'll learn about series resonance circuit. Now, a resonance occurs in a circuit uh, which contains both inductors and capacitors. So, this is a requirement uh, for resonance to occur. Now, primarily there are uh, two types. One is called the series resonance circuit. So you can see the current flowing through all of them. So much the same current. And then we'll have a parallel resonance circuit. These are the two main categories, but there is another one that is a combination of the two, which is called series parallel circuit. Now the resonance phenomena may be described as the condition as existing in when a fixed amplitude sinusoidal forcing function produces a response of maximum amplitude. What does this mean is that when a fixed voltage, fixed input voltage is applied, the voltage across the capacitance or the inductance will be or may be quite high from the uh, forcing function. Okay, now this circuit uh, we'll discuss for series resonance. From here you can see that we can write the uh, voltage current relation V is equal to I into Z. So R plus J omega L minus j omega c. So this term is z. So z, uh, it is also called the transfer function h omega. The voltage divided by current and this is the term r plus j omega l minus j omega c. And if you take j common from here, then we will have in the bracket omega l minus 1 over omega c. Now, for a resonance to occur, this term has to be zero. So, imaginary term, imaginary z, that is this term, has to be zero for resonance to occur. So, this was the condition for resonance, and from here, uh, you know, this term we said has to be zero. So, a couple of uh, um, deductions we can make and, and one of them is that when this becomes zero the impedance is nothing but resistive so at omega naught now at this time when the resonance is uh, when this term is equal to zero the omegas are written as omega naught so the frequency omega naught at which the imaginary part of the impedance becomes zero and the total impedance becomes resistive is called the resonance frequency. So this is resonance frequency and the circuit at that moment is called in resonance. Okay, so from here we can write omega naught L. Omega has been replaced by omega naught. So omega naught L is equal to this most on the right, so 1 over omega naught C. And from here omega, if you take this on this side and L here, so omega naught square is 1 over LC and omega is 1 over under root LC radians per second. So this is the resonance frequency. Now a word of caution here that this formula is valid if the circuit is a simple series circuit or a simple parallel circuit. It is not valid for series parallel combination. So keep this in mind. And if we want to write in in hertz, then we have to uh, convert omega into frequency. So 2 pi f, 2 pi comes on this side. So this becomes the formula for frequency in hertz. Okay, so a couple of phenomena that takes place. Number one. 
the impedance becomes purely resistive because the terms become zero. The voltage and currents are in phase, obviously because it is now resistive circuit purely, so voltage and currents will be in phase. The transfer function h omega is equal to z omega is minimum. Again, this will have a minimum value because this term is zero. Inductor and capacitor voltages can be much more Q times actually than the source voltage. So we'll see that that the voltage across inductor and the voltage across capacitor will be much more than the input voltage. Now at resonance the current I is Vm over R because this term is zero, so Z is R. And the voltage across inductor VL is I into J omega L, where I is this term, so Vm over R J omega L. And if you take the magnitude, then the magnitude of the voltage will be Vm over R J goes, this omega becomes omega naught, so omega naught L. And if we write this Q omega naught L over R as Q, then this will become Q times Vm. So if the Q is uh, 2, then the voltage will be 2 times the input voltage. If it is 10, it will be 10 times the input voltage. So that is why we are saying that the, induct the voltage across inductor or capacitor will be more than the input voltage. And similarly, uh, for the magnitude of voltage across capacitor, again current multiplied by the impedance. And if we write this as Q, then it will become QVM, where Q is 1 over omega naught CR. So you can see uh, these two values of Q, we can use any one of them to find Q. Now the current equation was this V over Z, so this, and we can find the magnitude of the current, which is VM over under root square of the terms and from here uh, we can plot the magnitude you can see that at omega naught we, we said that this term will be zero therefore Vs over R will have the maximum value as we move away from omega naught so this term will have some value and so the denominator value will keep on increasing and therefore the current will keep on decreasing that is why we can see this as a bell-shaped curve. Now let's uh, do an example. Uh, this is a circuit given. We have to find the resonant frequency, voltage across each element and the value of quality factor. So we know the formula for resonance. Omega naught is 1 over under root L3 plugging in the value of L, 25 millihenry and 10 microfarad, we get the answer to be 2000 radians per second. And then, uh, to find the voltage, first of all we have to find the current. So current is V over Z or it is V over R and 10 over 2, 10 is the voltage divided by 2 is the resistor. So uh, 5 ampere and now Vr is simply I into R so this is the value Vl J omega L into I so plugging in the value 20, 250 90 and Vc is 1 over the impedance 1 over J omega naught C and again plugging in the value we get it 250 minus 90 degree And third point, the equality factor. So we can calculate, as I mentioned, by either the L formula or C formula. So here we have you, you are using the L formula, omega naught L over R, and again plugging in the values, we get Q to be 25. Okay, some more theoretical information. As we saw, this is the uh, 
resonant frequency where the amplitude is Vm over R. Then these two frequencies are actually called half power frequencies where the two power becomes half and when we talk of uh, current it is 0.707 Vm over R or it is also can be written as Vm over under root 2 over R so this is the value of current at these two points and the difference between the two is called bandwidth. So the maximum power dissipated occurs at the resonant frequency omega naught. The dissipated power is half of the maximum value at frequencies omega naught and omega two for half power. And the half power frequencies can be calculated from this uh, formula. Omega 1 is equal to minus R by 2L and this term and similarly plus. It can be shown that the resonant frequency omega naught is under root omega 1 and omega 2. So under root of the multiplication of these two will give the uh, omega naught which is actually the geometric mean. The bandwidth beta is defined as the difference between the two half power frequencies so omega naught minus omega uh, sorry omega 2 minus omega 1 and then quality factor can be written as omega naught over b q is omega naught over b. And from just for your information, as the bandwidth uh, reduces, the quality factor becomes higher or very sharp. And if the bandwidth is increases, then the quality factor becomes low or not as sharp as before. A, a resonance circuit is said to be high Q when Q is greater than 10. So this is this will be using in solving problems. And what happens here that when it is high Q, at high Q, we can approximate omega to be omega naught minus B by 2. So actually from here, omega 1, if you take it on this side, that will be omega 2 minus B. But at this point, we are saying that B is B by 2 half. So omega naught is equal to b by 2 and here also omega naught is omega plus b by 2. Okay, now let's solve another example. For the circuit, we have to find the resonant frequency, half power frequencies, quality factor, bandwidth and determine the amplitude of the current at these three frequencies. So we plug in the values simply. Omega naught is 1 over under root LC. So plug in values. We get 5 kilo radians per second. Then half power frequencies. We can use either this formula or if Q is greater than 10 then we can use this simple formula. So let's f first of all find Q. So we know the formula for Q. Q is omega naught L over R. Plugging in the value, we get 25. So since it is greater than 10, therefore, we can use this formula to find the half power frequencies. But here we need B value of B. So let's calculate the value of B as well. So the bandwidth B is omega naught over Q. We know both these values. So bandwidth is 2 kilo radians. And now back to uh, part B. This was the formula that we are going to use. We had calculated omega naught 50. We had calculated B to be 2. So 2 divided by 2 is 1. So one of the half power frequency is 49 kilo radians. Another is 50 plus 1 is 51 kilo radians. And now uh, coming on to the D, determine the amplitude of current. So at omega 
is equal to omega naught at this point. We know that the amplitude is Vm over R. So Vm over R, plugging in the value, it is 10 amperes. And at these two values, the value is either you can write 0 0.707 Vm over R or you can write Vm over under root 2 over R. So Vm over under root 2 into R. So 20 under root 2 and R is 2. So we get 7.71 ampere. Now another uh, problem, I th uh, this is a practice problem. We calculate the value of C, uh, calculate the value of C that will produce a quality factor of 50. So these two are given, C is not given. So we have to find the value of C. Also find omega 1, omega 2 and B and determine the average power dissipated at these three frequencies. Okay, so we know the formula uh, for Q. The, these are the two formulas. So from here uh, we can find Q. We know omega naught. Uh, sorry, we, we have to calculate omega naught. We know we know Q is given 50. So we're plugging in this value Q L 25 milli and R4. So we calculate omega naught to be 800 radians per second. And now we use the second formula to find R. <coughs> so now we know. Uh, the value of Q, omega naught and R. So from here we can calculate C to be 1 over omega naught RQ and plugging in the values we find the capacitance to be 0 0.625 microfarad. So this is part number 1. Then for part 2 let's first of all find B omega naught over Q so plug again that is 160 radians and since Q is greater than 10, so we'll use the simplified formula, plug again the values. Uh, this is the answer that we get for these two frequencies. So the average power is given by uh, half I square R, where I is Vm over R. So plug again the value of Vm over R in this, we get this term. And this can be simplified to be half Vm square R, RR cancels, R, R, R and R square. So it will be, now plugging in the value, we get a power 1.25 kilowatt at the resonant frequency. Now for half power, or the power at uh, omega 1, omega 2, it is called half power. Therefore, you just divide the power obtained from here divided by 2. 0 0.625 kilowatt. So this is the answer. I hope this gives you an understanding as to how to solve series resonant circuit problems. Thank you.